So, you've been going through some big life changes lately, and now you're feeling terrible. You're not alone. Changes can leave most of us feeling overwhelmed or even a bit lost, even when they're positive changes. Today, I'm teaching you how to get through changes and turbulent times in your life, so you can come out the other end feeling stronger and invincible. If you've been feeling down following a major shift in your life, then this is the episode for you. So, let's talk. A lot of us can find ourselves struggling to deal with the impact of changes in our lives, regardless of whether they're big or small changes, positive or negative. But the fact is that change is inevitable and unavoidable in life, which means we need to learn how to deal with the tough emotions that often come with it, including the topic of this video, change-related grief. So, what is change-related grief? It's a feeling of loss and sadness that can come with any type of transition in our lives. Whether that's moving house, changing jobs, ending a relationship, or something else. You see, our brains get used to the familiar. And so, when that's disrupted, we often grieve for what was, even when the change is a positive one. So, why do we feel grief during and after life changes? We human beings are creatures of habit. We like routines, familiar faces, and places. Change disrupts that. It tears away our sense of comfort and familiarity, and our minds can feel like our safety is being threatened. It can also feel like we've lost a part of our identity, and that sense of disorientation and loss can result in grief. What's more, during times of change, our future can seem uncertain. We might worry about what lies ahead, and so those worries can make feelings of grief even stronger. So now let's talk about how to manage change-related grief. And here are five practical tips to help you navigate change and manage grief, starting with Tip 1. Acknowledge your feelings. Grief is a normal response to change, and it's important to allow yourself to feel these emotions. Why? Because denying or repressing your feelings can actually make them stronger. It's like trying to hold a beach ball underwater. It will just keep on popping back up no matter how hard you resist. So how can you acknowledge your feelings? Spend a few quiet moments each day checking in with yourself and allow yourself to feel whatever emotions come up. Write them down if it helps. The point here is to let yourself feel what you need to feel without allowing your thoughts and emotions to hijack you. Tip 2. Seek support. Because you don't need to deal with difficulties on your own, and nor should you. We humans are social beings. We thrive on connection and understanding. When you share your feelings, it can help to lighten your emotional load and provide a new perspective. That could mean talking to a trusted friend or family member, joining a support group, or seeking professional counselling. Remember, it's a strength, not a weakness, to ask for help. Because the more we talk about it, the easier it gets. Tip 3. Practice self-care. Your physical health and emotional well-being are interlinked. Eating well, staying active, and getting enough sleep can boost your mood and energy levels, giving you the resilience you need to better cope with grief. Create a daily routine that includes these three elements. It could be as simple as a walk in the park, preparing a healthy meal, or ensuring you get to bed at a reasonable hour. Tip 4. Practice mindfulness. When we're going through changes, it's easy to worry about the future. Mindfulness is a simple practice that helps you to stay grounded in the present, and it can reduce stress and increase feelings of calm. You could start with just a few minutes of quiet contemplation each day. There are plenty of apps and online resources to guide you. However, I just like to spend 5 to 10 minutes watching the clouds drift by as a way of anchoring myself in the present. Or you could incorporate mindfulness into your daily routines, like really focusing on the sensations of your morning shower, or fully experiencing the taste and texture of your food. Tip 5. Find a creative outlet. Expressing your emotions through creative activities can be incredibly therapeutic. It provides a safe space to release and explore your feelings, whether that's through painting, 
writing, playing an instrument, or even just doodling, these activities can help you channel your emotions in a constructive way. You don't need to be an expert. It's not about the result, but the process. So, there you have it. Remember, it's okay to grieve during times of change. It's okay to seek help, and it's okay to take time for yourself. Change is a part of life, and dealing with the grief that can come with it is a skill that all of us can learn. Remember, you're not alone on this journey. Now it's over to you. Let me know in the comments which tips you're going to apply and why, and you'll find more ways to manage life changes in the latest episode of the Let's Talk About Mental Health podcast. It's linked in the episode description. I'm Jeremy Godwin. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care and talk to you next time. For ad-free content and early episode access, become a paid supporter on Patreon. It's linked in the episode description. And in this video, I talk about how to deal with feeling lost in life, so watch that next and subscribe to my channel for new videos every Sunday.